Hello, I am Ellis and this is Ellis's City Builds. This is where I show you my custom creations and city building ideas. I have picked up the new Lego road plates and today I will be showing plenty of ideas on how to build with them and how I will be integrating them into my Lego city. These road plates are very nice. I like them a lot. Here's the box and this is the amount of road that you get with the standard $20 set. They also come in some of the newer LEGO City sets. The set has green plates, which are really handy for building cities. It has foliage, these flower pieces. It has these roof tiles in yellow, which are used as speed bumps. It comes with two small trees. All of the uh, side pieces included with this set are very nice. It comes with two of these street lamps with a very nice printed um, solar panel piece on top. It comes with traffic lights, a crosswalk sign, and a speed limit sign. These are all very useful for any LEGO city. I started experimenting with the contents of this set. I added two plates on the bottom of this building, which makes it the right height to put next to these road plates. If we put the building next to the road, you can see that it's about the right height. You could also add a tile on top of the sidewalk. This is the instruction manual. And I've also picked up this set, which I will be adding to the LEGO City. I needed more um, construction vehicles, and so it works great for that. The third step that I've picked up is the NASA Apollo 11 lunar lander. I will be building this and displaying it I'm very excited about this. Here are the pieces that the set includes. Looks like a very nice array of parts. I'm very happy about um, these new road plates and I will be adding them to this corner of my Lego city to start with. Where the paper road is right now, I will add a old road base plate and that will help me transition into the new system. This will be sort of a side street with more houses because I want to expand my residential area. I will also be adding base plates under these. I am now going to demonstrate some of my ideas for this new system. I have a old intersection road base plate. And as you can see, a base plate is thinner than the new road plates, which are actually two plates thick or a plate and one tile. When I place them in my city, I will put them on base plates. So they'll be two plates and one base plate tall so that, so that they are compatible with the rest of my city. They have cutouts, six by six cutouts, which makes them a lot easier to place on base plates or any other studded surface because you can easily remove them. This set contains four of these 16 by 16 modified plates and one 8 by 16 modified plate with crosswalk printing. The main benefit of these pieces is that it can make your roads very customizable. You can have as many lanes as you want. You can have elevated sidewalks. You can have roads um, that go up hills. You can put one of these 
hinge pieces or any similar hinge piece on the bottom of the road plate because there are anti-studs on the bottom and you can make a ramp. You can make a road that's on a hill with these. You could even build these into bridges by elevating them. There, are, there's lots of there's lots of things you could do with these. You could even use a snot piece to make a wall for a large building like a warehouse or a skyscraper. I will be adding elevated sidewalks, uh, driveways, um, ramps, trees and lots of other custom things around these roads in my city. I encourage you to experiment with these roads yourself because there really are an unlimited amount of possibilities with this new system. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.